Hello, I'm Dr. Manuel Guerrero, and I would like to thank uh, the AGODO for giving us this opportunity to present our work. This work has been done with a collaboration with the University of Ares in Italy and the University of Alberta in Canada. The uh, people that worked in this project was Rosa Maria Fastuca, Per Antonio Seca, Michel Vito de Gregorio, and Dr. Alberto Capriolo. Rapid maxillary expansion treatments is a common treatment to deal with maxillary transverse deficiencies. Although it has very negative side effects, especially in the periodontum, we didn't find that many studies that analyze these effects using CBCT in a three-dimensional aspect. Thus, the aim of this study was to evaluate changes in buccal bone plate thickness of the maxillary permanent first molars after RME using CBCT images to compare the changes between RME in the mixed dentition with the appliance anchored to deciduous teeth and RME in the permanent dentition with the appliance anchored on permanent teeth. For this study, we collected 16 patients from the University of Alberta in Canada and 21 patients from the University of Insubria of Arese, Italy. The patient from Canada had a ex hyrax expanders anchored to the first permanent molars, while the patients from Italy had the hyrax expanders anchored to the second deciduous molars. The activation protocol was two activations per day, which patients then had CBCT images taken at start and when the appliance was removed, and then these images were analyzed using MIMICS. The method of analysis consisted in putting a slide that followed the long axis of the first permanent molar and then identifying the CEJ. Then we measured three millimeters from this point and another six millimeters from the CEJ point and measured the buccal bone thickness. This was done in both roots, the mesial and the distal root, as can be viewed in the slide. After analyzing the images, we determined that the average error method was 0.14 millimeters. Thus, we proceeded to analyze all the images after that. And as you can see in this table, you will notice that the group that had the hyrax inserted on the permanent molars had way more bone changes compared to the group in the deciduous molars. In these graphs or in these pictures, you can notice that how the average uh, buccal bone plate thickness loss was 0.8 or 1 millimeter, depending on what type of root on the permanent molars, while in the deciduous group, there were no significant changes. Thus, if we summarize the findings, we will notice that there was buccal bone plate loss thickness in the permanent group compared to the deciduous group, and thus there was more orthodontic effect on the permanent group compared to the deciduous group. Thus, to conclude, we will want to give a message is, is it really worth it to overcorrect? Because being that we have more bone loss, we can notice that this can be a side effect, as we can see in the picture here, and this can bring uh, about more fenestrations and bone loss as can be seen in the CBCT picture ahead. So thanks everybody for listening to this video and hopefully everybody will have a great new year. Bye.